Buenos dias. Good morning, Mr. Reaper. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everybody. Well, hi there. Good morning. It is August 3rd, 2024. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Historic moments. Kamala Harris becomes the first woman of color at the top of a major party presidential ticket, securing enough delegates to become the Democratic nominee. And as the race enters a new phase, former President Donald Trump says he's ready to debate the vice president. Economic setback. The disappointing jobs report brings falling stocks and rising fears of more bad news to come. We'll talk to our expert about what it all means. No man left behind. This morning we'll take you to this forest in eastern England, where 80 years ago a U.S. bomber crashed, killing the pilot aboard. See the remarkable, painstaking effort to bring his remains home. And Friday Night Lights. The first week of the Summer Olympics wraps up with some thrilling finishes, but also disappointment for Team USA in the pool. We are in Paris covering it all. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah. Sure. That's right, Billy. Yeah. See, he saw the picture of you on the computer, and then you was going bleh when you were playing basketball. And, and who else in the world does that? Her name is Mr. Big Baby Taco Derm. I want it. But she likes me best. Besides, I already got teeth. Uh, Go downstairs. But I must finish my juice box. Gracias. Hmm, nice. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. I think I will call you Juan and you Juanita. Yeah, I, I, I really um, thought that the finale was awesome. No, I got everything I needed after that hug. Way to go, Eduardo! You captured the cannibal ghost! And it was the most delicious badger ever. That was amazing! Good job, Agents Puppy and Catswell! You've done tough proud! All right, I suppose I could help fix the place up a little. This is nice! Everyone's being super helpful today! My name isn't really Francisco, it's Francesca. My mom wanted a girl. I found some moves! My thirst isn't on the loose anymore! I just want to thank you all for your help! Mount Bear River is flowing again! The other storm drains are painted too! And the whole Mount Bear watershed too! I was just gonna say that! Yes, I saved the forest! You're our hero! I am feeling like me again. Exactly. Yes, more than anything. Yes, sirree, but this is the life. You kings and queens of Woodland Valley. Because today is going to be great. It's going to be so great. I can just imagine it now. Because today is going to be a very special day today on Sesame Street. Oh, Lazo, I am so excited! I just know that this time I am going to get Count Store! I think I just found what I was looking for. Try taking a dip in Big Springs, Little B. I'm sure the fish there will get you clean. When there's too many fish in the lake, the crocodiles come and eat the fish. It's the circle of life at its finest. Pua! That'd be awesome! You're really special. Any eagle can swoop and stop. I have to admit, for someone your size, you're a surprisingly good hider. Bunga, your smell must be even scarier than a snake's. That's just how Bunga smells. He's always been a bit, uh, fragrant. If you ask me, I think Bunga smells fine just the way he is. Yeah. And in Bunga's case, he's a stinky little honey badger. Thanks, Uncle Timon. Best day ever. Oh, I agree. Terrific! It's even more awesome than awesome! Ah, yes. Oh, the woes. <laughs> Pretty. Glad to be almost alive. Really? Gracias! This morning's eye opener is presented it's by gonna be making great. it easy to bundle. Oh, that's yeah. right! Yeah! yeah. Totally. Hmm. Games at home. 
Rome, games in Paris. All, all over the place. Dana's not here to talk about the no-hitter, but she is there to talk about the Paris games. Right? Definitely. Yeah. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. We got so much to talk about. Of course, I'm Michelle Miller, along with... My name is Eduardo. Jeff Gordon. Dana Jacobson is in Paris covering those Olympic games for us. Bonjour. Bonjour to you guys there. The no-no was fascinating, but we've got so much here in Paris. We're going to have a wrap on all the big events that happened yesterday. Plus, we're going to take a closer look at the athletic fashion at this year's Olympics. From the leotards gracing Simone Biles and her teammates to the shoes on track stars and breaking competitors, there's big pressure when it comes to the gear at these games. So we're going to talk to those tasked with making and designing it all. And since we're here in Paris, we're also going to get a lesson on one of France's favorite food staples, the baguette. Crisp on the outside, soft and chewy in the middle, it is believed to have first taken shape in the 19th century, but wasn't popular here until a century later. I'm going to tell you how a labor law actually led to that popularity. Are you guys hungry? Yes! Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Yes! A delicious carrot cake. You want to see? It was so delicious, I ate the whole thing. Almost. <laughs> now it's gone. Only the best food ever. Fresh fruit. <laughs> see, Captain? Pirate Swap Day has taught us something already. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, Dana. So awesome. And what goes with bread? How about a bit of wine? But not French wine. Madeira wine may have originated from a Portuguese island chain, but it actually played a key role in the early history of the United States. We'll take you to just off the coast of Africa to explore the history of this rarely discussed drink and put it to the taste test. Nice. Then 100 years ago, the Paramount Theater in Brooklyn was America's first movie theater built for sound. But after decades of hosting movies and concerts from some of the biggest acts around, it fell into disrepair, eventually in becoming a basketball court. Now, after a massive renovation, this American treasure is back and is one of the country's premier music venues. We're going to take you inside and have a special Saturday session from Black Pumas, who've received multiple Grammy nominations. That and so much more is all ahead. Oh, yeah, for sure. Me too. But first, this morning's top story, Vice President Kamala Harris is one step closer to officially being the Democratic presidential nominee. On Friday, Harris received a majority of delegates in a roll call electronically two weeks ahead of the convention. Her focus now to pick a vice presidential running mate expected in the next few days. Natalie Brand has more from the White House. Natalie?